Hello and welcome to Patty. This video will teach you the basics of Patty so you can edit any of our marketplace designs for your event. Before we get started, let's title this design and save it. After you have saved your design for the first time, Patty will automatically save the design every 60 seconds. You'll see the save status in the top right hand corner. Now let's get started. You can change 90% of any design you find in the Patty Marketplace. Most elements are locked at first, so you will need to unlock them before you can make changes. You can tell an element is locked because if you click on it and try to drag it, it won't move. Another way to tell an element is locked is by looking at the toolbox on the left. When you have an element selected, the toolbox will slide out and in the toolbox you will see a lock or unlock icon. Most things you can do with an element are disabled until you unlock the element. Now that I've unlocked the element, if I click the element again, I get an actions menu with XY, HW, and effects. XY, HW let me set the exact height and width and the XY coordinates of the element. Effects will let me add special effects to my elements like drop shadow, borders, and a few other options. Dig around in the effects menu and play around with it. When you're all finished, click Done. Remember, if you make a change to your design that you don't like, just click the Undo button to revert your changes. Text on designs found in the marketplace are not usually locked. If it is locked, unlock it the same way you would any other element. Click on the text and then click Unlock in the toolbox. To change the text on a design, double click the text and then start typing. Once you have changed the text, Click anywhere on the canvas to save it. Let's center this text. Single click on the text to bring up the actions menu, then click fonts. On the right side of the window, the formatting options will appear and you can change the font, increase or decrease the font size and more. Click Done when you're finished with the font settings. You can add special effects to the text by opening the special effects menu. Just click once on the text and then click Effects from the Actions menu. When it looks how you want it to look, click Done. This design doesn't call for any special effects, so I'm going to click Cancel. These three blocks with the camera icon are the photo placeholders. This is where your photo booth photos will go. To make changes to the placeholder, make sure to unlock it first. You can resize the photo placeholders and move them around. If you want to add an additional photo placeholder, click the plus button in the top right hand corner of the canvas. By default, your photo placeholders will be 2-3 ratio landscape. You can change that by clicking XYHW in the actions menu and choosing the ratio you need from the drop down menu. If you want, you can also upload your own custom graphics that you can use in your designs. On the left hand side, click the button that says Uploads. When the Uploads section opens, click the button that says Upload Your Files. Navigate to the saved location where you have the file and then upload it. You'll know the file is finished uploading when the graphic stops blinking. Click on the file you just added and it will be added to the canvas. You can resize the graphic or open up the menu to add special effects. 